Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Grimes Finds. No, I'm not going to blow up a building or to join a cult or a terrorist organization. I'm going to get my beard cut because one of y'all fools told me I look like I had AIDS, y'all. AIDS! All right guys, so hey, I am back home. Yes, I drove. For real, some of y'all are just mean. Like I've been told I look homeless. I've been told I look like a crackhead. I've been told I look like a crackhead for over a year that I've been doing YouTube. Thank you to my man, Aaron, the barber in Rowlett, Texas. Guys, hey, if you're in the DFW area, it's worth the drive. Like last time I told y'all if I had to wait an hour, that I would, well, I did. There was two people, there was other people available. I said, nah, I think I'm gonna wait. Homeboy is the only one that has not jacked my beard up. He's done it perfect the last two times. I'm telling you, if you need like a, a, a clean up, an edge up, a line up, freaking haircut. I don't think he does massages or any weird crap like that. All his links specifically are down in there. Ask for him. If you go in, tell him that Grimes Fine sent you. Oh boy, it does look better though, doesn't it? Y'all look at that. Look, I know. Let me, some of y'all got some nice thick beards, right? Mine is like somewhere in between there and scraggly. And he does a good job of making it all look good. So hey, look, I'm relaxing today. We're about to do some unboxing. If y'all haven't noticed, you can probably hear me a lot better. I'm not having to yell and all that good stuff. Still figuring out all the settings on the new camera, but hey, check it out. I am recording with a new camera and a new mic. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Did you want in? He was following me. Come on, I'm sorry. Give me a few videos to get used to this, cause like, Man, I've been like watching YouTube videos, how to do the settings and all this. I thought you just turned the camera on, pointed it and shoot, and that is not how it works. So check it out. Hey, y'all know the NFL unit and the gold unit and all that good stuff? Uh, look, don't judge me. Hey, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. A lot of y'all are very, very judgmental. 70% of the US's garages look like this, but they wanna act like it don't. So look, I'm just the one in that 70% trying to keep it real. My garage looks like crap. It always does. Especially when you buy three storage units and put it out here. My lights are out. No, Justin, go get a light bulb. Well, what are you doing? Oh, does it, is it work? Oh, man! Turn that off. You ruined it. I thought I had to use my new O-Light. I was just about, I was looking for a reason to tell him about my O-Light. All right, well, hey, I'm just gonna tell you about it. When I told her my plan, I said, hey, we're gonna start downsizing. We're gonna downsize. But look, we got it. there's a rule, right? Don't bring your homework with you, mentally and physically, right? Mentally, it'll do the same thing. It'll just mess everything up, like my living room. I'm about, look, this is just all me. I'm telling you, I'm trying to be transparent with y'all. Gina, for real, don't judge me, y'all, all right? Let's just be a, look, let's be a family. I don't judge you, you don't judge me. We're like, hey, I don't care what you believe. You don't care what I believe, see how that works. And we just like each other. We concentrate on all the great stuff we have in common, like dirty garages and dirty living rooms, couches. That's where I draw a line. I will not show you under my couches. Look at my living room. Oh my gosh, that's so bad. Y'all, I found so much good stuff. I've been through two boxes. I found more gold. What else I found, babe? Oh, autographs. Yo, we found good autographs. We found Black Sabbath. Black Sabbath, like, wait, can't tell them. Hey, let us get ready. Check out this intro. If you have not subscribed, what the heck are you waiting for? You got about 15 seconds to do it now while we get ready for some great unboxing. How you turn this thing on? Check it out, my friends at Olight, they probably love me by now. I was looking for a reason to try out my new headband. Y'all probably think I'm crazy. Y'all seen all my flashlights? I'm telling y'all, Olight is, man, about 20 years ago, we used a different word. They're really good. Now, 40 year old Justin says, man, that's a good flashlight. 20 year old Justin says, that's a bad mother. All right, so hey, this isn't the one I'm gonna use in the garage. 
So look, I'm gonna show you this one real quick. This is limited edition, guys. This is gonna be in the flash uh, sale as well. But I love like the chameleon metal on it. It's got uh -huh. the same USB charger, all of them. It's got a mount, you can mount it and you put the magnet on top. It's great. But anyway, so I was using this one last night uh, to look for treasures, right? Cause look, show them down here. I dug it's all this treasure. stuff out. I'll show y'all some of that in a minute and show you some of the new stuff I found. But last night I got bored and so I was like, man, I, I got a couple boxes in the garage. So I went out and I started going through stuff and I used this one. Ladies, this is a great miniature flashlight. Will fit in your purse, in your pocket. And it's purple. And it's purple. This is one of the reasons why I like Olight. And you're like, Justin, how many flashlights can you have? There is a flashlight for every situation. What? Boom. You're like, Justin, it ain't working. Yeah, let's look. Boom. Like when you're tying a fish or something. You know how like you're trying to do this. Or if you don't have the one that tilts, you know, and you got to tilt down. Look, this goes straight down. It's perfect for reading. It's perfect for tying fish knots, right? Like I said, these are limited edition, so get on there now and make sure to get yours. Look, it does come with a strap. I don't remember if I showed you the strap. It comes with a strap. You can do the forward thing, but I really I really like this one when I go in through storage units because I'm like trying to see coins and stuff in the light, and I'm like looking all dumb like doing this. So anyway, this will prevent that. This is in the flash sale. And you know it, same thing. Look, comes with the, re uh, the magnetic charger. You can throw this in your USB on your computer, your phone, whatever. Click it on. I was gonna say stick it on because it rhymed, but then I was like, oh, actually, yeah. Click it on. Well, you don't want to stick it on after you click it on. You want to do the stick it on before, you, you know what I'm talking about. Go get you one, kiss up. All right, guys, before we get to unboxing, I did want to show you this. So remember this, this jewelry box that I found? I went through it, I pulled all of the trash out of it. So look, this is all gonna be one lot in the Grimes Finds auction. Uh, we have a lot more jewelry. I'm gonna fill this puppy up. Okay, look, I found a ton of sunglasses. Gonna go through all those. Oh, this is so cool, y'all. This is a World War II, I think. Uh, this belonged to the soldier that was in that book. I've gotta learn how to probably focus this new camera, huh? All right, what else did I find? Oh, yo, hey, y'all remember this watch? Y'all look these up, sold the digital watches. One of these Hellbros digital watches without the box sold for over six hundred freaking dollars y'all and look i have one it's like brand new like it was never used with the box so y'all tell me can y'all find that exact model let's see what else i found look there's the michael kors watches oh look i found dog tags and coins look i found coins this was kind of cool i found this it's got a 67 half dollar in it which y'all know is 40 percent uh silver look I kept the dolls. Normally I throw these away, but one of y'all wanted dolls. Or actually, a lot of y'all did. Look at all this Black Sabbath stuff I found, y'all. This is like a mail-in. This was a mail-in from, I think, 79. Yeah, 1979, right? Look, look at all these fan club, like, brochures for Black Sabbath from back in the day. Fan club brochures. Look, y'all remember the posters, like, in the magazines? The ones that unfold are Black Sabbath books. There's a ton of unfoldable posters. They're unfoldable. You know what I mean. You don't want it unfoldable. Uh, but hey, so a lot of Black Sabbath stuff. Where is it? Look. Oh, Black Sabbath. He was in Black Sabbath. It's autographed. I did find some other Black Sabbath autograph stuff. So hey, the old rock stuff, we're already finding good stuff. All right, guys. We're going out into the dungeon. I promise y'all, hey, we're doing a video next week. Seriously, stop judging me. I can hear some of y'all right now. This thing is gonna have shelves in it. Oh, it's gonna be awesome. Y'all wait till next week. So I just really messed it up on purpose. Usually my garage is really clean. I just messed it up for the effect to make the video next week look better than it really would have been. So let's go. Look, this is the NFL unit. And the one that had like bomb stuff in it. So we need to find another one. Look, here's all the boots. Hi. Look at all our boots. <laughs> hey, y'all, we're having a big YouTube... When are we doing our YouTube auction? Friday. Yeah, say next Friday. We should have the link up today. Milo's joining us. Hi, Milo. Oh. He I, left. Yeah, he left. Uh, what was I going to say? YouTube auction. Uh, yes, that. All right, so look. I'm going to look for one of Mom's boxes that had all the Lucy Goosey stuff in it because I think we're going to find more coins and hopefully gold in that. Yeah. You ready? Ready. Say, the NFL unit, y'all, I just pulled this out. We're going to have to go through all this dude stuff. Please be mm -hmm. a Louis Vuitton wallet. You think um, it that is? That would be awesome. <laughs> There's money in here. Oh, there is? Yeah. Like good money? I don't know. You ready? Like pennies or? Should we save it? 
Oh! I'm going to give you one peek. Boop! Right there. Hey, this is it. This is what we're saving till the end of the video. Because really, I know about as much as you do except what I just saw. And I let, tried to let you see it, but you didn't look quick enough. Hey, Louis Vuitton, there is a wallet in here. There is cash in here. There's coins in here. Let's save this till the end. All right, guys. So, hey, check it out. I found this bag in here. Say, y'all remember all those yellow envelopes? So it's had people, and this is going to sound so sad. This, and seriously, it makes me sad. It does. It makes me sad, too. But the guy, the lady said the guy had four months. Maybe they didn't want it, but each envelope was, like, for a family member. And, like, I found some, like, coins. So, like, they were divvying stuff up. So, like, I think it was their inheritance. This just fell out of one of the envelopes. Uh, there's definitely some cool stuff in here. So we're going to take this. Oh, I still have the Louis Vuitton bag. You do. I forgot. And then we're going to take this box in and let's take it into the living room and do an unboxing in there. And then maybe just to keep things spicy, uh, we'll find uh, places to unbox something. I got an idea. We're going to do an unboxing at the end of this video that may have never been done before. All right, guys. So look, here's the Walgreens bag. All right. See what we got in here. Ooh, what? That says 1914. Is that for real? Hold on. Let's do one at a time. All right. So I know a lot about vintage knives. I'm hoping this is a good brand. I see USA, so that's a good thing, huh? Is it a case? It is a. I can't tell. Oh, it's a Schrade. Schrade. Yeah. So here's a two. Yeah, two blade Schrade. We'll clean that up. But look at the size of that handle that's and good. that blade. So hey, yeah, that's awesome. All right, there's another one in here. What do you think? I'm guessing another. Pakistani. You think so? Pakistanis have... Uh, pa Pakistanis, Pakistanis are like the North Koreans in China. Like, they make all the best quality stuff. All right. Okay, so this is kind of cool right here because I found another stopwatch. I'm actually going to go get it. But look, this is an old school stopwatch. Let's see if it still works. Let's wind it. Oh, look! What? Does it work? Yeah, look. Cool. Hey guys, we're gonna be workusing, workusing. We're gonna be workusing on the focusing and all that stuff. We're trying to figure this camera out, man. But to get the auto and all that stuff. So hey, be patient with us. I'm not trying to get rid of one problem to create another one. All right, guys. So hey, y'all, let me know. Look, this says 1914 on it. It's got a crown. Let me know if you think you know what this went to or what it might have come off of. But I like it. All right, guys, don't forget we got that Louis Vuitton bag that we're going to do at the end of this video in an all-new way. All right, guys, so look, man, there's a lot of this stuff in here. It's like these 8x10s. This is really cool. Let's do the 8x10s first. <laughs> uh, oh, except oh, that one. No. Gently used. Gently used. Uh, but look, Buffalo Bills. Be cool if some of these were signed, huh? Mm -hmm. So some 8 by 10s Let's look on the back, see if we can figure out who did it. A lot of times, whoever the place was will have those on the back. But these look like they're probably just like a standard maybe team set or something that they gave out. Actually, look. Here's the original thing. So the Buffalo Bills. One Bills Drive. That's awesome. So this, yeah, this I guess was a set that the Buffalo Bills sent out. I don't know why, but what I'm going to do... Do you think this guy, wide. this guy, oh, well, listen. Hmm. Whoa, wait, what unit is this out of? This, is out this of isn't even out of the NFL unit. No, okay, no. I was about to say maybe his grandpa or something played for the Bills or something. But look, check it out. So here's the original packaging, and what we'll do is we will, uh, oh, there's a letter in here. We'll put, oh, look, it's from the Bills, too. People are like, slow down, man, you smoked crack this morning? <laughs> Actually, no, it's the opposite. <laughs> All right, so check it out. 1980 Buffalo Bills yearbook, $3.00. This is a souvenirs price list. Not available at this time. Okay, so that item was out. Buffalo Bills edition of Pro Magazine, individual player action photos, a dollar each. So he paid a dollar each for these, y'all. So that's what he ordered. He got on there. I guess that's probably back in the day when you get in the back of the magazine and you had to fill it out. A lot uh, of y'all fools don't even know about that. You yeah. had to like get a pen. <laughs> and you fill it out and then you put it in an envelope and you walk it out to the mailbox or take it to the post office then you send it to them there wasn't no internet there wasn't no checking on it you probably didn't have the phone number so it's pretty wild so hey we should be thankful is what I'm saying alright guys so don't forget that we are having a live YouTube actually here's what we're doing we're actually probably probably going to go to the schedule Sunday is going to be we'll just say this Sunday through Friday are going to be videos is that what we said Saturdays I thought we said Fridays. Did we say Fridays? Yeah. I don't remember. It might be Fridays. We're going to be looking at doing one live YouTube auction a week. 
It may be on this channel, may be on another. I don't know, but let me know. Not in the chit chats. Down in the comment. Would you bid on this? All this Buffalo Bills souvenirs from 1980. Would you? Would you bid on it? Yo, I like this. Yeah, that's cool. I like four. Oh look, this is oh, it's from Motor Company, Ford Motor Company warranty card. What you got a that's warranty card with your clock, y'all? Look at that. I ain't even gonna take that off. Hey, this will be in probably the high bid auctions because we're still gonna at least do two high bid auctions a month. This is kind of cool. So look, this is from Mexico. It looks like they bought it and probably never took it out of the tourist bag. Oh, that's neat. It's still, oh, it's a poncho. It's a poncho. What? That ain't even a poncho. Are you gonna put it on? Heck yeah, you know I'm going to. Oh, it's a vest. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wear this out. It's a lady's vest. Y'all, I could have, for real, if we're being honest like i mean if i didn't start this youtube thing it's not too late for me to start a career in modeling is it all right guys so hey check it out this is going to be another lodge lodge large lot this is only a little bit of what i found you know all those things that said photos well there were some pretty amazing photos and look where we are as a nation and somewhere people like look I think any history we can get our hands on, I think you better bundle that stuff up and keep it. I already told Gina I was keeping a few of these. She looked at me weird, but I was like, man. So look at this. I'm gonna do a huge lot in our YouTube auction of old photographs, like hundreds of photographs probably. But look, this is some of the ones like we found. Look at that. That's just an amazing photo. American flag. Look at this old football team. Uh, these are so great, y'all. Look at these. Look at that Coast Guard. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. Look at this one. Cool. This one's older. Look at that. Yo. All right, so look, I mean, that's what all of these are, and I promise you I have hundreds of more. I just grabbed a stack, but look, this was like full of like war, war pictures and stuff like that. Uh, look at these old photos, man. These are just killer, dude. They had some killer stashes back there. Look at this, y'all. 1918. Look at these pictures. We got to make sure there ain't nobody famous in here, y'all. Hey, let me know not in the chit-chat down in the comments. How many of you actually deal in photos? All right, guys. Uh, I hadn't used that voice in this video. And I got to at least do it once. I got a quota with myself. Let me show you a few more items I really like. Don't peek. Y'all. So these were cool. So I found the World War II diary with the little wraparound leather thing. So somebody, one of you great viewers, said, hey, Justin, bundle all that stuff together, which makes sense, right? So we have his World War II Army uh, outfit, which we actually was a regiment out of Texas. And they actually were responsible for a very particular act. I'm going to do a video on that. But look, this is cool. This is a soldier's pocket bottle. Isn't this cool? Yeah, that's really cool. Okay, look at this. Harmon Jones, Grocery, The Way, Salvation, Golf of St. John's, The Pocket Pictorial. But check this out. I even have the uh, World War II Coast Guard. Oh, that's cool. Too. Yeah, is that cool? That's his actual ID. Isn't that wild how their mm -hmm. IDs used to look like prison people? Could mm -hmm. you see that? Did that focus? No, they didn't focus. Man! It's on your face. Huh? I don't know how to get it off your face to an item. So I'm saying it's far back. So pretty, I guess. A lot of this stuff too, like this is sterling. Okay, all the charms are marked sterling, so that's a cool look. A typewriter, uh, there's an airplane. That's a very interesting area code, you for me. I love you, okay, all right. So look, a little silver charm bracelet. I still think we're gonna find a lot more jewelry. Uh, look, found this like 1947 uh, gold-filled tie clasp. Uh, or probably had a little dangly on it. Look, I found this. I found this last night. It's too bad it's plated. I did find another gold and actual diamond ring. I just don't remember where I put it. All right, guys. So, hey, check it out. After this, we're going to go unbox, unbag the Louis Vuitton bag that had the wallet and the coins and the cash in it. Check it out. Okay, so I want to show you a few more things. Here's the diamond and gold ring I found. It's dainty little baby, but it's still gold and it's still a diamond. Okay, so these are 14 karat gold right here. They're actually antique earrings. This one's busted. 
man, I almost want to say that you want to keep those, but look. So this is basically, remember how, so last YouTube auction, didn't we, we did that uh, scrap, scrap we lot. Did, we did so scrap we're going to do another scrap lot. We're going to try to do one every time. All the scrap gold and jewelry, platinum, any precious metals is going to go into one lot, and we're going to auction it off to you. All right, guys, this has got to be, so look, Gina was asleep. I, I told Gina I wasn't going to tell her what I found because it was like, what What time was it when I got a wild hair about the boxes? About 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Uh -huh. And she said, I'm already going to sleep. You like to work at weird times. <laughs> and so anyway, which is true. Is but true. so I said, well, fine. And But I was sitting over there and she's like, what'd you find? I'm like, no, you, you don't want to work this late, remember? And so I didn't tell her everything I found. So look, I found all of this currency. I, I, have, I promise you, this is as much as I've looked for looked through it. Okay. I'm hoping, what I'm really hoping, this is a lot of foreign stuff, but what I'm hoping is to maybe find some, a couple Confederate notes. Look, the Japanese government. Um, so here's what I'm guessing. This is probably all of the stuff that he had when he traveled. Uh, I'm seeing, yeah, German. I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure that's German. Do they have any years on there? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah I'm pos all, all currency usually does. Um, where is it? 1922. Berlin, December... 1922. All right, guys, so check it out. Look, I'll go through this. I'll update you, but look, I... Ooh, 100 what? Pesos? Heck yeah! How much is 100 pesos? I'm not really sure. It's not a lot, is it? No. Okay. So look, uh, again, we'll go... Golly, I see we we'll keep going through this, but look, these are just so cool, y'all. Look at all this old currency. Commonwealth Australia. Hey, we have a bunch of people from Australia that watch we us. We do top three places I want to go. Israel is number one, Australia, and then I would like to go uh, see William, uh, Scotland, William Wallace. Hey, what's that say? Dutch? Is this German? German. Hey, look, dot, it's a Dutch, and a Dutch, it sounds butt. Watch, ready? Hey, butt, whoa! whoa. <laughs> look, dogs' lives matter too, and I shouldn't have violated them like that. I repent. Guys, I found these last night too. Uh, oh god I love stuff like this so look we're not gonna be able to focus in are you no. I'm gonna figure this focus thing out you can't see the small stuff that sinks my iPhone even does that uh, you know what I'm gonna have to do huh. when Rob gets back in town I'm gonna have to get him or Cam to teach me how to use this thing but hey stay far back but look I'll show you these more all of this stuff is going to be in the YouTube auction yeah and these are sterling Cool. Yeah, so a lot of y'all may not know, but these older military stuff, you're not going to be able to tell. But they're all stamped sterling. So a lot of the older military stuff, guys, don't just, I mean, even just the sergeant, uh, God, the insignias, they're, they're sterling. So look, we got liberty or death. That's so awesome. So look, we got five sterling pieces right here. These will be in the auction. All right, guys, so this was in one of the, oh, this is so cool. Uh, you're not gonna be able to see probably I'll try to explain It's like we gave up one problem. I can tell a couple of these are silver already, but look this is just some foreign coinage What's that say? So Philip Albert for bravery and valor Battle of Suhau Creek What? Yo Presented to like to him I don't think, I don't know if I can sell this. The only way I think I would sell this if I knew it was going to a history buff, because this was actually presented to Philip Albert for being a part of the Battle of Suchow Creek, Shanghai, 1940. That is history. Somebody probably wants me to, hey, just mind, you should probably for me, just throw that thing in the freaking trash right now. I'll be like, man, you go jump in the trash. I ain't throwing this away. Our country was built on the bravery of these men, and I will not dishonor them. And for all of you who thinks that you can't honor and still get your point across and have a different view, man, y'all ain't watched my channel long enough. Can't we just all get along? All right, so look, this is really old. It's a parcel. Uh, this is like an old post office tube. It's been eaten through. So I found this, and I'm actually going to give this to Rob. I, I think I'm going to frame it and give it to Rob. You going to see what it is? Yeah. Okay, so this is a paper from 19, or 1859. What? Yeah. Okay, so this is from 1859. Joel Pate catches record 52-pound trout. Like, 
I'm gonna unf well actually I don't know I might unfold it or I might do a half size but so what I was gonna do is I was gonna frame that for Rob because I mean he loves fishing I thought this would be a cool piece on the wall all right guys so hey I was gonna do an unboxing in the pool but we have new neighbors they bought the house next to us and they're in the hot tub I'm not trying to ruin their good time. They're over there hanging out, and I'm not trying to be out there being all loud and stupid. I'm going to let them enjoy their time. But look, if this video gets 2,000 likes, I will do a whole unboxing in the pool by topping off the video by jumping off the roof into the pool. Remember we did that? I said that oh last. I did that last time. Remember that live? I said, hey, if we get 2,000 people in this live chat, I'll go jump in the pool fully closed uh -huh. in the middle of the night. And what do we do? Fool's got almost 2,100 people in there. I was freaking wild. So 2,000 likes, and I'll freaking do an unboxing in the pool. And I'll top off the video off the roof. Show them right here. All right, see? There's the roof. There's the pool. There's the floaty poop. Actually, maybe I'll cannonball on the poop. What I found in there, I still have a lot of boxes from the NFL players room that I didn't really go through. And look, the first one I did, this was in a clothes bag. Um, so I'm going to pull out the wallet first. Is this, I don't even know. Oh, that looks like Burberry, actually. Whoa, how'd you know that, girl? I it mean, is. So, made in Italy, Burberry. Uh, is there any cash in it? No. no cash. But that's a nice Burberry. That's and I'm nice. assuming he, because he was in the NFL, it's going to be authentic. Okay, guys, so look, here is what is in the Louis Vuitton bag. Somebody might just want to buy the Louis Vuitton bag. Ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. All right, guys, so look, there's $2 bills in here. I was going to see if they were uh, in order, if they were star notes, anything like that, but they're not. They're more modern ones, but hey. Two bucks. I still know we have a lot of great stuff, but you're going to have to come back tomorrow to see it. We'll see you guys at the next unit.